fresh off a midweek win over Solihull. Tough win, but um, another Saturday, Tuesday kind of week and another away trip. So it is going to be tough for the lads, isn't it? Yeah, I think January is, uh, this January in particular has been been a real challenge with the with the Tuesday Saturday Tuesday Saturday but it's not just not just for us it's 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 for for a lot of other clubs in the league um so yeah we it almost it it gives you that not not much thinking time and not much preparation time so you sort of bounce into each game and um the the win against Sully Hull obviously gives us a real big boost and mm. I don't think I don't think we've played particularly badly over the last the last five or six games and we we got a bit of a bit a bit of luck against Soy Hall, so it's nice to get a win. And we've talked a lot about like we're going to lose games and, and not to be too downbeat when we lose games. But losing four in a row is uh, was tough, and mm. to bounce back with the two that we've done, it's it's really positive. But we need to make sure that we're a lot more consistent. I think I think our inconsistencies are are where I think a lot of people. People feel feel frustrations, the sort of the fan base, and even myself really. So certainly we need to be a little bit more consistent. And, and talking about that win against Solihull, obviously, you know, in the second we raced into the lead thanks to Winnie's brace, and, and the second half was was tough, wasn't it? It was it was really kind of backs against the walls. They tried to get back into the game. So do you think that's kind of a real, you know, bit of motivation for the lads that, that you know we've we've finally got that bit of luck and we've had that determination to get through to, and, and get those three points. Yeah, I mean, I mean, as I was saying, it's better to be a lucky manager than a good manager. But I think, I think from my perspective, that we we went with a really good game plan around around how we would press them and how we would get at them and what problems that might cause for them. But the the two goals early were obviously great, and let's say we probably probably could have been could have could have probably been maybe three. Um, but but then it, it also then, then then it gives you that mindset, doesn't it? Like I said to you. Said you after 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 the game where where you want to maybe protect what we've got and we got deeper and deeper and I can I can I can't stress enough that that obviously wasn't the game plan that but but that's what happens in football and and they they went a lot more offensive than I'm sure they would have been and put a lot of players high and a lot of players wide and got a lot of overloads out wide which made it really really difficult for us so I completely uh, understand how that game changed and and how the mindsets would change sort of mid game but but we managed to get on the bus and. It, it, in, it, with the three points, which which is obviously the most important thing, and, and our prep and how 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 we were planned for that game in terms of like the arriving late, like the, 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 the real the real killer really. Like we got there at seven seven fifteen p.m. on on Tuesday, and 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 the, we kicked off at eight, and give us such little prep time and such little time to get off the bus, and I think we were on that bus for like for about five hours maybe. So. So it wasn't an ideal scenario, and, and, and probably we maybe should do that more in away games. I don't know, but um, yeah, it wasn't ideal, but, but we dealt with it well. And, and like I said, we got we got a, we got a bit of luck, a bit of luck in that game, and, and, and gives us a little bit of momentum and a little bit of positivity to go into Bromley. In that game, we saw Karoy Anderson come off the bench, and obviously as well now we've got Hachi Minoga in our arsenal. So is that is that good to have a bit more, you know, a few extra additions in there? Yeah, I, 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 there's no no secrets being made that we're, we're a small squad and we're we're a really young squad, and, and I think we must we must be the youngest squad in the league, and a lot of people want to see us bring in experienced players. I think I think Hachi come comes in with with experience. He's he's played he's played. Games in the league, and he's obviously played, uh, played played what I think maybe 30, 40 games at this level for Weymouth and Bromley. So he he comes in with some good experience at this level. Obviously, he's still twenty, um, but but he's aggressive and he's good in the air and gives us a, re- a real different option in terms of being a centre back or right back. Um, and then you have um, obviously Karoy who, who's eighteen, and mm. probably the the last the last thing people want to hear is we brought in another eighteen year old, but. I can assure you, he doesn't play like an eighteen-year-old, and, and for those that were there against Solihull, could probably see coming with such a mature and calm, calm, um, calm performance on the ball and in and out of possession. Out of possession, he's so aggressive, and you see him train here. He doesn't train like an eighteen-year-old. So I, I, th- I think a lot of people at Charlton and Charlton fans will tell you that boy's going to go far, and, and we're, gl- we're glad to have him. And part of his 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 his, his short professional career at the start of it, he's with us and. Uh, and we get to we get to be part of that journey for him, and and, and I know it's twenty eight days, but I'm I'm sure sure we'll we'll be trying to to extend that come 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 the end of the twenty eight days. And looking ahead to Bromley, obviously it's another game just like Solihull where we 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 fell to a defeat earlier in the season. Obviously not in in your tenure, 
but you know we've got we've got parts who was, was there last season has he given you any kind of back, background information on them yeah i mean we've obviously watched them and stuff and um we spoke i've spoke to parts about it, about about them and you know, a few we've got a few new faces in there and like I, I probably stand here every week and I go, they're a good side yeah. and they're, they're an awkward side. The the oh, I don't want to call them direct because I don't think that's fair to them. They're, they're they're efficient and they've got some wonderful players out wide and central midfield. So um, they're they're going to be a real real tough opposition and obviously they're playing on the three G. So we go there like I said in good spirits, but fully aware that 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 it's a really really tough opposition. I think I think the boys and and the players in this club need to understand what every game means not just not just the importance of obviously three points but the importance of the fans and the importance of the people so for me for me every game I want to win and, and I want to I want to give my absolute all and um, getting not, not that they don't but 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 every game is so so important to us and and obviously we come up to the to the fifth round of the trophy which is obviously down the line but we want to we want to be game by game and we want to make sure we do the best we can and Finish as high as we can, which will which will be a, a reflection of, of of the type of team we can be. Thank you. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights, and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.